So, uh, what are we doing with that defender that's outside, mate? Is it finished? Yeah, I think so, mate. Right, okay, then sit down then. Can you go out and do a little film clip with it? For me? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So, shall I give you the little brief what we've done to it? Yes. Right, okay. Um, I've gone out, yeah. bought a Land Rover Defender 110. Uh -huh. I've converted to left hand drive. Yeah. Yeah. Using OEM factory parts so you wouldn't even notice the difference. Yeah. And then we've rebuilt it from virtually stripping it to shell all the way up. Okay. Yeah. That's changing the carpets, changing the pedals, changing the steering wheel, changing the gear shifts, changing the dashboard, changing the front of rear seats, putting sports seats in, did all the quilted in the, in the roof line in. Yeah. yeah. Strip the body outside, put the wings in the front, rear wing quad sections, we put the bigger wings on, the front bumper, the grill, the sump guard, the wheels, the tyres, the yeah, exhaust yeah. system, the mud flaps, the whole lot. That you need to mention, and the roof wing. You didn't write any of that down? No. <laughs> but you can look around it, you know what I've done to it. Yeah, I know, okay, fine. So and pretty plus, much, pretty much everything. Then. Every single thing that's built, and we forgot the colour. The colour. Do you know what colour it is? It's a grey colour. Right, so it's dove grey. Dove grey. It's an old MG Rover colour. Nice, yeah. So, and it's flat, so it's yeah, not... Not metallic. Not metallic. So mention that. Now, that car has been built for a royal family member in the Middle East. It's a special car. And he wanted it like that. So he asked me, look, I'll sell, pick a colour, but it's got to be retro. I want this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, yeah. So this is a colour I've never used before, and I wanted to try it out. <coughs> Proper bespoke job then, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Well... That's my bank statement. <laughs> yeah. So, can you can you can nothing on it. <laughs> no. Exactly. So I'm sat here with the <laughs> <gilet> on. <laughs> um, can you can you can you go out and do that then? Yeah, we'll take it and talk about it. What happened there? I don't know what happened there, but that doesn't look healthy. Um, can I have a drink, love? Yeah, you can. Thank you, love. Right, go on then, see you later. Yeah. So this is the uh, Defender Double Cab 110 XS pickup that we were talking about earlier. I'm just going to take you through some of the changes that we talked about with AFSAL. There's a lot, so let's get started. Dove grey complete colour change. Xlander grill that's been body coloured matched. Front bumper with LED running lights. Headlights, satin arches, wide wings, chunky tyres, deep dish wheels. Roof shield with LED lights. Load area in a textured satin paint. Crosshair exhaust system with really heavy duty mud flaps. Roll cage bars, full interior, red seat belts. Black quilted leather with tweed inserts. Interior carpets, quilted front GTB seats. Sunseeker steering wheel, binnacle, glove box, roof lining, fascia, satin have pedals, suspension, everything. He's changed everything. So we should like, um, we should probably take it out. Take it for a test drive. Let's, uh, let's go get him and see if we can take it out. You finished? What's this? You done? I could always see it, to be fair. Do you want to take out it? Why? Because it needs testing. I need you to check the QC on it and stuff and make sure it's all all right. We've talked about everything we've changed. You've l literally everything has changed. Let's go. See what you think of it. Come on, two seconds. Let me finish this off. Oh, what a nice car. There you are, sir. Total transformation, eh? By the genius. The man, the myth. It's in gear. Why right, is that pointing at you? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to get you in as well, mate, but yeah, we'll put it like that. Right, flaps up for takeoff. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, so you just need to check and make sure everything's all right with it. Air uh, conditioner's happy. working, it's fine. Yeah, we just don't want it too loud. Touch screen's working. Is it? Yeah. This is so cool. You should always check the small details, you know, just make so sure everything's know, right. Uh, ready for takeoff. Uh, press the buttons so that you know what you're doing. Right, okay. Yeah. We're going out for a test drive, guys. Let's go. Buck up. Buck up. <laughs> What's the word? Buckle up. Buckle up. <laughs> okay. Do you just laugh at anything? It's your face. All right, my <laughs> ass. Just watch the road, mate. It's not your ass, it's your face. Yeah. Go. You know, man, I'm not a big fan of this manual gearbox, you know. Why? You liked it last time. Yeah, but it's different different motion, bit of lotion, you know? Bit of lotion. They're all slightly different. This is a 110, so maybe it's... Did you know it was a French guy that invented the gearbox? Manual gearbox? What was it called? Manuel? That would be a Spanish guy though, wouldn't it? Well, French, Spanish, the same thing, isn't it? Same thing, yeah. Why not? 
outside England, isn't it? So we're out test driving a customer's car, making sure that it's reliable, it runs right. It feels good. Sounds good. Yeah, suspension's nice and soft. Yeah. Good thing to drive. I mean, personally, I think it should have been automatic, but you get what you pay for. We're just testing and making sure that turning circle works. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's actually a very good turning circle. Nice. It's all right. It's such a good turning circle. Have you done anything to the turning circle? Yeah. 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 Just improved it. So we just change the bushes so it can turn a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's good, isn't it? Come on, let's go, man. This is so quick, it's unbelievable. Yeah. The power is just unbelievable. For a 2.2 engine, this is mental. That's what journalists say, don't they? That's it, yeah. It's so quick, I cannot believe it. It's unbelievable, look, the handling is just sheer <laughs> performance. It's just a killer. Yeah, we're sat at home watching you on television no, while you're, you're right. having a cheap throw out of it and we're sat there eating our cribs getting fat. Yeah. Let's talk about quality control, how it's built, how it's designed, how it smells. Can you understand? Yeah, yeah, it smells like leather, man. There's leather everywhere. Right. Let's get to see this business. Did you mention the suspension? I did mention the suspension. Did you mention the front bumper? Yes. Did you mention the lights in the front bumper? Yes. Did you mention the front grille? Yes. Mention the headlamps? Yes. You mentioned the guard? Yes. I forgot it, but then I mentioned it. Did you mention the tyres? Yes. Did you mention the wheels? Yes. Did you mention the roof? Yes. No. Yes. Because I said it was black. No, the roof spoiler. The shield? Yeah. Yes. Did you mention the exhaust? Yes. You basically mentioned everything that I said? Everything that you said, because it's everything. You've changed everything. Okay. Did you mention the carpet? Yes. The roof lining? Yes. Even your wind visors. There's one thing you definitely missed out. What's that? Foot pedals. Nope. I've mentioned the foot pedals. Okay. I'll tell you what. There's something definitely missed. Did you mention <laughs> the door panels? What, the door cards? Yes. Well, I, I mentioned the interior. No, so that you missed it. Fine, okay, I right. missed the door card. missed the door card, I so... apologise. No, you don't have to apologise, mate. I'm just going to take you off your salary. Okay. You're not doing your job properly. <laughs> it's fair squared, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, I've lost a sale. On, I don't know, how many sales have I lost on the door panels? Think of it like that. Maybe three. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. So I'll take it off your three months' salary. <laughs> you say you own it, mate. You say it and you own it. <laughs> Sorry, pal, I'm going through. <laughs> I ain't got time to stand around waiting for people. He knows I'm coming. Yeah, but look at your acceleration on the hill now. Yeah, but I'm taking it lightly. Right, so you've mentioned everything. You mentioned the colour. Yeah. Where's know. the colour from? From? MG. MG. Motors. Rover. Rover. <laughs> That's the one. It's a non-metallic colour. There's something definitely you've missed. What? Navigation. Nope. No, I mentioned the navigation. Do you mention the dashboard? Yeah. Do you mention the attention detail over there? No. So you missed that. That's two things. <laughs> yeah. I mentioned the binnacle though. And I mentioned the space here, the buttons being moved. Do you mention that? No. That's three things you missed. But why do I want to mention that? Four match? things and you fired me. So you got it all in. Zoom, 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 zoom. 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 Like, there wasn't time to go into detail. I like it. There was, all, there was just too much detail. Anyway, on a serious note, I think I've built a brilliant car here. You, yeah. Customer's going to be over the moon. You. It drives beautiful. I've built this amazingly. Thank you very much. You've done such a good job. I don't know how like you've got time to do anything else. Let's 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 take this round and roundabout so quick. Yeah. Well, there's a big roundabout up here. Yeah, let's take it round and roundabout so quick. Yeah. And see if the suspension that we built is correct. And if it's not, we're going to roll. We're going to roll. But we've got roll bars, which I did mention. What's these flags with red things in the middle of them? Why have people got flags up for? I don't know, mate. I'll tell you what it is, mate. What is it, mate? National Front League. <laughs> people you see driving around in Bradford with the flags sticking out of the car. The National mate, Front League. Fucking, it's the World Cup, mate. That's the National Front flag, mate. Don't it's even go there with me. It's the St George's. What do you mean, World Cup? Yeah, it's yeah. National Front. You don't even know what National Front is. Pick up some speed. Why don't we go over the roundabout? We'll be going over to prison if we do that. 
No, no, we're not. We're sticking around the roundabout. Yes, it was fantastic. We really enjoyed going around the roundabout. Yeah. The feeling was absolutely great. Yeah. The car has passed QC tests. Has it? Yeah. Flying colours. Unbelievable. So have you tested everything? Do the brakes work? Yeah, we went done nothing to the brakes. Yeah, but you're just checking the cars. Just they? making sure it's fine. The brakes are fine, mate. It's fine. There's another National Front League flag there. Yeah. The only thing I change on this car, there's only one thing. What's that? Is the passenger. Was oh, in that Citroen? Lauren and Lauren, I think. Yeah. What the? Was that the colour she chose? Out of six colours. Come on, mate. Home sweet home. She loves it, doesn't she? Right. So you've done the full run on the car. Described it from the outside, inside, all listed it all correctly, and you haven't missed a single thing, apart from the door panels. And the badge. And the badge. So, you've, so investing in bricks. Did you mention about our multicultural business that we uh, no, build some nice cars? So why don't you? You want me to say that we have a multicultural business that build nice cars? Yeah. Okay. Get on, mate. You, you give you a job and you do like 6% of it. Yeah. And then the other 4% you forget. What about the other 90%? I mean, ninety percent. Forget about ninety percent, mate. You, you, you're not. You're at the ten percent league. You not. No one. You ain't even gonna go over that yet. Car design is a multicultural business that builds nice cars.